Ah, Halloween season, the time of the year when people in vampire, ghost, or witch costumes can walk around the streets and it's completely normal. A couple of weeks ago, I even dressed up as a witch and attended a Halloween event with my pointy witch's hat and all. If you're like me, you probably grew up watching plenty of movies and TV shows with evil witches brewing potions in a big cauldron and wearing the classic pointy witch's hat. The Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz movie is one of the earliest examples of this depiction in film. But have you ever wondered where these strange cone-shaped hats come from? And why we've come to associate them with witches? Hey lunatics, it's Lady Luna, and today we're continuing our Halloween-themed exploration into the history of witches, this time with the conical hat or witch's hat, which has a fascinating history. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lady Luna and I love making videos on all sorts of mystical and metaphysical topics, so be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell in order to see more videos just like this. Believe it or not, cone-shaped or conical hats started out as something only the early European upper class wore, such as aristocrats and royalty. You may have seen pictures from storybooks of fairy tale princesses donning their tall pointy hats. I always thought they looked pretty funny that way. Sometime before the 13th century AD, the conical hat was adopted by common folk, this time with more of a wider brim. This hat was worn mostly by the Pagani, now known as pagans, which in those days simply meant country dweller. Often, these country dwellers followed the older spiritual traditions, such as polytheism, and they were often sought by people in neighboring communities for their knowledge of healing, herbalism, and sometimes even the magical arts. Now, I should note, when I say magic, I don't mean the kind you see in fictional storybooks or Hollywood, Harry Potter, etc. I mean the ancient tradition of directing your thoughts and words in such a way that you can shift and alter energy in order to bring about a desired outcome. To learn more about this, be sure to watch my previous video on the deep history of witchcraft. Some country dwellers who wore this hat were also well known for being beer brewers. Since the Pagani were mostly a society of farmers, some outside the community could spot a country dweller in the pointy hat and know that they could offer them some sort of service, such as providing them an herbal remedy or simply giving them some beer. But the conical hat definitely has a dark history attached to it as well. With the growing emergence of the Catholic Church in the 13th century Europe, the Pagani or pagans started to be viewed by Christians as servants of the devil. They associated all paganism with witchcraft and believed that their pointed hat represents the pointy horns of the devil, even though pagans generally don't even believe in the devil. Since many of the country dwellers who made a living with their knowledge of nature and the earth happened to be women, accused witches were usually women. As we know, this was a brutal and horrific time. In some areas, unfortunately, Many Jewish people were forced to wear pointed hats in order to distinguish themselves from the Christians, much like other terrible oppressions we'd see toward Jewish people in the 1940s, such as the forced wearing of the Star of David badge. One thing I had wondered in my childhood was, why wear a hat that's pointy? In the historical times of witches, what was the practicality of a hat that pointed straight up rather than something that would fit to the shape of the head? As I've done my deeper studies into the history of esoteric topics over the years, however, the answer became very clear. In the spiritual traditions of old, starting all the way back in ancient Mesopotamia, people have always revered the pineal gland of the brain to a high and holy degree. The pineal gland is associated with the third eye and crown chakras, and is believed to be like a spiritual antenna to the divine. It's our connection to our higher self that reaches beyond the forgetful veil of the physical world. A conical hat has a high point that directs one's gaze upward toward the heavens, as if to say the wearer is connected to the divine. This is most likely the reason not only for pagans and witches to have worn it, but especially for royals and aristocrats to have worn it in the first place. After all, royals were believed to have been put on earth and chosen by God to lead. 
so it's no wonder they would want to show off how powerful their pineal glands were with a big pointy hat. Even in ancient Sumerian art, we can see that pointy hats were worn by the gods Anu, Enlil, and Enki. Believe it or not, there have been four strange and ancient conical hats that all look very similar, but were each discovered in a different area. Three are from Germany, and one is from France. They are all covered in gold leaf, and are estimated to be from the Bronze Age, somewhere between 1400 BC and 800 BC. The markings on these hats were all nearly identical, and were fashioned to record the changes in the cosmos, such as tracking the movement of the sun, moon, and stars. It's believed that these hats were worn by people of high importance, indicating the wearer as someone of very high status, much like a crown. Why they recorded the cosmic information on the hats is still unclear, but it's believed that people of that time period used this knowledge of the constellations and planets to plan the planting of crops and critical events that were to come, much like the pagan communities did before the 13th century. It's clear to see that the pointy witch's hat has been around for a long time, since the beginning of civilization, and its history goes far beyond use by witches. If you dress up as a witch this Halloween, wear your conical hat with pride, knowing where it comes from, and that once it was even an adornment of the gods. I love my pointy hat and I wear it every Halloween, knowing that inside all of us, there is a power and divine nature that it's pointing out. We all have that light and brightness inside of us, and I love that the conical hat reminds us to do something we often forget to do. Look up, remember who you are, and where you truly come from. If you liked this video, you will really love my video on the deep history of witchcraft, which you can find right here in the corner of the screen. If you made it this far, comment the secret word of the day, which is crown, and be sure to subscribe to this channel and push the like button so I know you liked it. Thanks for watching guys, happy Halloween, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!